Hello StarCraft fans, this is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Legacy of the Void upload. This is a game between Optimus and Genix on Frozen Temple. In the top left side of the map, we have the yellow Terran player, it is Optimus, from AT Gaming. And in the bottom right side of the map, we have the orange Protoss player, it is Genix, from Encon Esports. Okay, so amazing. Z, not a Z. TVP for you guys here today on Frozen Temple. This is a combination GM professional level game. Genix is G GM, Grandmaster League. Optimus is technically professional. He's a Dutch player that plays for AT Gaming. So we'll see how this works out for both of these players. Frozen Temple, a pretty well balanced map. I don't think anybody has this shut or removed or vetoed on their map list. Pretty easy to take natural base. Fairly easy to wall off there. Third's kind of wide open, but that's kind of been the natural... Uh, for StarCraft 2, or the regular way of doing things in StarCraft 2 for a long time. Thirds are not easy to take. Uh, fourth base is fairly good as well as far as progression goes. Uh, got rid of those Elnaga Watchtowers. There's some debris here actually from where they used to be uh, covering the middle of the map. I guess the uh, Blizzard didn't want to make it too easy to scout that middle attack path. But a probe's up here trying to take out this SCV building the barracks and gets chased away by yet another probe, which then turns tail and runs as the SCV turns its sights on it. SCV, uh, SCV, yep, pretty strong there, and it is going to be a Marine opening by Optimus, so definitely getting that Marine count up. That's how you deal with early Adepts, really, is one Marine, bad, five Marines, a lot better, and to get five Marines, he's got to start with one pretty early. So I think Optimus might just get five Marines to defend against early Adept Harass, might use them for a drop if the Adept Harass never comes, or even if it does, he could still push out with those guys and be just fine. A cybernetics Core on the way for Genix. Getting his second Assimilator as well, and his second Nexus is about 50% complete right now. Optimus, on the other hand, is working on a factory. Very standard stuff. Command Center on the way. His is about 40% complete by this point. And Warpgate Research getting started for Genix. I don't think I've ever seen that skipped. Even when players go Sky Terran, or Sky Toss, rather, they will get Warpgate Research because it is so important for, you know, maybe you need a warp of Stalkers at your base. You never know. You never know. Sneaky SCV. Oh, Optimus has a sneaky SCV on the left side, on the far corner of Genix's main. Probes, what are you doing? Get back to work, Probes. Okay, one of you got back to work. How about this other one? No? Okay, now getting back to work. Adept heading out. Oh, checks the corner. Does he see it? Oh, I think he saw it. He one-shots that SCV. Then Sonic transfers his way out, or her way out. Her way out, I suppose. Yep, double pumping those Marines, getting that count up to where we need it. And it's a Stargate opening, Stargate follow-up by Genix here. So it could be an Oracle play. We'll see if Optimus is ready for it or not. Widowmine in production, exactly what you need against early Oracle plays is getting a Widowmine inside your mineral line, inside the main. That is enough to at least make Oracles think about going in there. And they do one-shot them, so that Oracle gets a little bit too close and suddenly kablooey. Suddenly, Kablooey, wait, where did you burrow, Widowmine? Where are you, son? Did you burrow in the mineral line? Why can't I see you? I'm so blind. So blind. Huh, I don't know where that thing went. Is it between buildings? I don't see it. I don't see it. If I am blind, please let me know by smacking me across the face. Anyway, there's a wood of mine up here somewhere. Oracle has to be super duper careful about that. And here comes the drop. Like I said, Optimus sending his Marines right on out. And what was it that came out? Actually, a Phoenix coming out from Genix. So he's going to... Genix, Genix, the Phoenix. He's going to try to deal with these drops using Phoenix taking a third base at the same time is Genix. This drop could be a problem. It's showing up right as soon as this third base is under construction. And yep, ready to go. Marines don't have stim, but they don't need it. That is a goodly number of Marines. Seven of them to be exact. Can the Adepts save the base? Phoenix trying to get rid of that medevac. And you know what? Actually forcing the Marines back are these three Adepts. Actually, we make them six now with their beautiful orange color. Look at this orange. And then getting out of there are the Marines picking up, boosting out, and then dropping again because there are Phoenix around. The Phoenix really want to kill that medevac, but I'm not sure if they can actually pull it off. Can they get it? Going to lose one of the Phoenix. And Genix loses one of his Phoenix. Again, flying back and forth across these rocks is Optimus. Doing a great job keeping his units alive and picking off a Phoenix as well. And then heading on home. Chase, go. Chase after it. Phoenix, you can get him. 
Another drop coming over. These ones are Widow Mines. Widow Mine drop from Optimus coming along this right side. Gonna fly into the natural. Pylons, pylons up. Mothership core are near enough to throw down a photon overcharge. No. Definitely not. Good sneaky path, though. I don't think Genix has any idea this is here. Phoenix checking to make sure his f potential fourth base landing is good. Which, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know if you should take a fourth base right now, but hey. But hey. You do what you gotta do. You are Grandmaster. You've earned this right. Drop coming back in for Optimus. I know Liberator sneaking around this left side too. So he's got his stuff in position to do a like a triple pronged drop right now. Liberator flying past. Does the uh, Phoenix see it? I think so. I think it does. Oh, the Phoenix does see it. Woo. Lucky break there for Genix. And yeah, gonna get some shots off. Stalker shows up as well. This Liberator is going to die. 100%. Doesn't even get a shot off. Kablu. Good pickup. Good recognition there by Genix for shutting it down. Optimus trying this rocks trick again, I think. But there's more of an army down here, I think, now for Genix. He's got more Phoenix in the air. Might be more difficult to do. Here comes that Widow Mine drop. Backing up. Backing up for the Widow Mine drop. Here it comes. One, two. Were there three? There were three. Wow. One, two, three. Ouch, 10 probes died right there. 46 to 42 harvesters. And the medevac gets destroyed. Dropping one of the widow mines, but getting picked up and killed by the Phoenix. So good job by the Phoenix here so far. Trying to do more harassment on the left side with this medevac. Can't quite do it though. There are stalkers, there are adepts protecting third base. Well up and established here. You need a third. You need a third Optimus. He's got one. He has a third command center, orbital command even, but he's not landed it in that third base location quite yet. It is 52 to 42 total harvesters. Protoss looking strong right now. Looking good. Getting resonating glaives. Getting plus one ground weapons. Getting more and more probes. Triple pumping them out. He really wants the economic advantage to be a big one. And he is up 10 workers at this point. So keep making those probes and pylons as Day9 always used to say. And you're going to be all right for the most part. Marine count for Optimus looking pretty high. Tank count 2. Marine count officially 19 according to that units tab. And third base has landed. The third base and the eagle have landed for Optimus. Some mules tossed down there as well. Again, mules do make up a certain level of income discrepancy between Protoss and Terran especially. Don't have to worry about the Terran player at this point. He's going to be just fine. Immortals on the way. Cannons coming up. So cannons in the natural base worried about more drops possibly. Phoenix find a lone SCV to kill it. Kill another one building a refinery. Killing a mule too before the marines chase them away. Well played there, indeed. Good push off by Optimus. Adepts warping in. Pylons coming up too. And what do we got? Phoenix. Phoenix trying to kill that Liberator. No, can't quite do it. Can't quite kill the Liberator. Again, the Marine count is really discouraging to air units. Marines just kill everything in the air no matter what it is. With the possible exception of Broodlords. Although if Marines are close enough to hit the Broodlords, the Broodlords will die very quickly. So just keep that in mind, Terran players, Marines, you're anti-air against all things air. Phoenix flying in again, they pick off the SCV building, the missile turret, that is especially ironic, well done indeed. And here comes a push from Genix, Genix rather, he's got Adepts, he has an Immortal, he's got 23 Adepts with Resonating Glaives and plus one attack. Looking good, looking good Adept count here. Gonna go ahead and knock down these rocks that lead up to the third base of Optimus. It says, never mind, we're just going to go around. We can check for a fourth while we're at it. Does not see a fourth from Optimus. That's always a good feeling if you are the opposing player. And here we go, Adepts warping on in to see what they're dealing with. This is one of their most important functions. It's just to warp in and see what's going on. You don't have to finish that warp, right? You're not committing to anything. And now he's committing to things. Here he comes, Adepts on top of those Marines. A Liberator setting up Defender Mode Circles. Genix does not like this. Does not like these Defender Mode Circles. He's staying outside as well as he can. Adepts trying to find things to kill. Is he going to let that one finish? No. He cancels that one just at the last second. Killing an Observer that was in the air. Genix, I don't know if he wants to do this. He warps in a couple more Adepts. He's trying to harass this Refinery while not getting too close to the Liberators. Once again, Adepts trying to decide how do we want... Nope, there's the cancel again. Genix just probing, probing. Can't quite do it. Can't quite commit. Does not like what he's seeing here. Liberator Defender Mode Circles are whittling him down badly. And here it goes. Going for it. Phoenix trying to take out the Liberators while not being killed by the Marines on the ground. Gets one. Gets two. Trying to lift up some Widow Mines here at the same time. And Genix pushing forward strongly with an Immortal, with Adepts. Lifting Widow Mines out of the ground with the Observer on the air here. Trying to kill this tank on the high ground. The, uh, the tank drop action from Optimus is pretty good. 
And what does he do? Genix. Does he take down the third? He tries to warp into the natural here. Is he going to finish that thing? And no. He cancels it. Comes back to the third. Great fake out there. Great use. Immortal doing that extra damage. The repair. The repair keeping the orbital command alive. More liberators come in. The stalker's trying to deal with them. But the liberator's getting two, three, four kills at a time. Immortal still alive. Immortal has five kills to his name. Trying to kill the SEVs on the third. Forcing a liftoff of the third base. Great victory there by Genix. This plus one attack definitely helping him a whole bunch. And warping an additional reinforcing adepts to the front door with that warp prism. Refinery explodes. Orbital Command again taking more shots. Again the repair from Optimus. And again the forcing the liftoff. Genix's pressure here. It feels like it's been going on for 20 minutes but it's really only been a couple. But I'm sure for Optimus it feels like it's been an eternity. Can Genix do this thing? <laughs> He's trying. He's trying his best with his orange-blooded adepts here. Sinic transfer in once again just to see what he's dealing with. There is the cancel. No, two adepts actually come back here to try to kill some SCVs, but tank fire murders them fast. War Prism with adepts getting into the main base, sneaking on in, possibly while Optimus is distracted at the third. More SCVs dying. Again, killing the workers on gas is good because your opponent might forget to replace them on gas. And being down... On gas count is not a good feeling at all. A couple of adepts do manage to sign transfer their way and almost escape, but can't quite pull it off there. Liberators chasing down that warp prism, stalkers defending it as the warp prism flies over to where they are. Fourth base now coming up for Genix. Blink being researched. Robotics Bay and a robotics facility coming up for Genix. Plus two, plus two for the bio being researched for Optimus and continuing Liberator play. It's what Polt does. It's what Polt does in PVT. He just goes mass liberator and kind of wrecks face for the most part. So we'll see if Genix has an answer for this. Or if Optimus's control and a macro is as good as Polt's is. Adept's killing yet another SCV. 23 SCVs have been killed so far. It's not a small number. The Adept's do get murdered by Marauders. And I think this War Prism is going to die too. Get out of there, War Prism. Liberator going to murder you. And no, War Prism says, you know what? I've had a good life. <laughs> I'm going to allow myself to get destroyed by these Liberators. No big deal. Pushing in again is Genix. Actually taking down the rocks outside his own third, strangely enough. Fourth base definitely up and running. 13 workers there. 56 to 63 Harvesters. Going Colossus is Genix. So, um... I'm going to say the Colossus Jinx is officially over. We've seen Colossus win matches, you guys. We've seen them win over the last couple of months. We can no longer say if you go Colossus, you will lose. Nope. Colossus is still not a great unit, but if your opponent's going Marine Heavy, Marine Widowmine Heavy, I, I don't see why it's a bad idea. Stargate on the way and a Fleet Beacon for Genix, because why not? Because why not go for Colossus and Tempest slash Carrier at the same time? You're on four bases. Some Adepts try to sneak in and do some stuff. One does make it to the third, but again, Marauders Marines here to deal with it. Five kills on the Adept, and she gets killed by a Marauder. A soon-to-be plus two, plus two Marauder, so there's no shame in that. Another attack heading up along this left side. Swinging up is Genix. Widowmine's burrowing in preparation. More Colossus. How many does he have? He's got one. He's working on another one. Extended Thermal Clance. Extended Thermal Clance? Extended Thermal Lance is almost done. Oh, I left a tank behind. Adepts here at this attempted fourth base, just murdering Marines, murdering SCVs. What took... Oh, there's a Warp Prism there. Warp Prism gets taken down. Adepts have nowhere to go. They get killed. But guess what? Pushing forward is Genix with his Blink Stalkers. I'm from Boston. Blink Stalkers blinking away. Colossus here mixed in with the army. Stipping forward. His Optimus want anything to do with this. He's got the Viking. So did he know? Does he know Colossus are coming? I bet he knew Colossus were coming. His Viking count is way too high unless he knew. Unless he knew. Adepts, again, just three of them sneaking into this natural base. You gotta lock that door behind you, Optimus. He's lost so many SCVs so far. 32. 32 SCVs killed. It's 48 to 63 Harvesters. The harassment by Genix has been insane and consistent. And just super duper effective so far throughout this match. It is Tempest. So double pumping Tempest right now is Genix. I don't know, man. I mean, you saw those Vikings. There's a lot of them. There are uh, 14 Vikings in the sky. I don't know if you want to go Sky Toss or even Colossus Toss. Blinkstalkers picking off a Liberator before they set up their Circles of Doom. 
trying to get Vikings too, but just barely slipping inside those circles means you die. See that soccer corpse? That means you die. And there is blood there. Something. Some blue streak. Ghosts coming out for Optimus too. EMP possibly. Blinking to the side with the stalkers. Colossus right on in. Trying to burn through everything. The Vikings making quick work of them. Though both Colossus die. Stalkers still trying to make this go. Getting forced away by this bio. Another Colossus shows up. Getting focused down immediately. Genix knows what his targets are. Marine Marauder, the Vikings have landed here as well. The Blink Stalker Micro, pretty darn good from Genix. Can he win this thing? Adept from the backside, trying to kill things. Tempest on the high ground. There's nowhere to go for Optimus, and he actually loses that battle. Somehow, someway, Protoss won that battle. I don't know how. Another Liberator dies there. Holy shamoly. <sighs> Unit stab. There are five Vikings... Seven Marauders, six Marines, and two Ghosts for Optimus. Versus A Stalkers, a Phoenix, five Adepts, and two Tempest for Genix. So I don't think anybody's in a really great position right now. Uh, I would argue with anyone who made that point. Fifth base coming up for our friend Optimus. And my phone just buzzed at me because it has an ESPN alert of some kind. You know what, ESPN app? Sometimes you tell me things that I don't care about. Like, it told me last week that Tim Tebow hit a home run for some, like, super minor, minor, minor league baseball team. Don't care. Do not care about that, ESPN. I know, I know people watch you because you talk incessantly about Tim Tebow, and you have for the last 10 years, but it's enough. It is enough. I'm sorry for actually giving you that fact, uh, my listeners, because you didn't need to know that either. I encourage you to forget it as soon as possible. Genix swapping over to Disruptor play. Disruptor's on the way, double pumping those. Still making Tempest, though. I feel like he was pretty happy with how the Tempest performed in that final battle. A drop coming out for Optimus. Does he know about this base, or did he just accidentally fly over it? I think he just accidentally flew over that. If you had to ask my opinion. Adept moving across the map. Gets dropped on and destroyed by a bunch of Marines and Marauders. No plus three, plus three coming out for Optimus. I think you would need that. Seems fairly important. Phoenix does manage to pick off a Medivac, though. Nicely done, Phoenix. Nicely done. Two Medivacs have been killed so far in this game. Only two. That seems very surprising. And there's only three here. Optimus not going super heavy on the Medivac play. But he definitely has some ghosts getting mixed in with that EMP ability. They don't have to research it. It's right there. 75 energy creates an electromagnetic pulse that does 100 damage to shields and energy for all units in the area. And reveals cloaked units too. So here are the Vikings versus the Tempest getting hit from a distance. Not what you want to see. Fourth base up and happily mining for Optimus. But if Genix can take that down. If he can take that down. He might be in a good spot. Disruptor sending a... Purification Nova to the left. No. Nope. I don't think Genix wants to do this thing. Maybe harassing from a distance would be good. Taking out a refinery would be a good deal. Actually, that thing burns right down. Nova taking out a Widow Mine. A drop here at the fourth base. Nothing to defend. Oh, no. Marines Marauders on a rampage. Coming up to the third base as well. Can he hold Pur uh, Photon Overcharge? Maybe. Might be able to hold this thing. An Oracle comes sneaking on in. Using Pulsar Beam actually does nothing. He just bur gets burned out of the sky. That was bad. That was really bad. Meanwhile, a huge battle up here. Tempest trying to take out those Vikings. Sucker count pretty darn low. There's a Liberator here as well. No, Genix. Genix is in a lot of trouble right now. Trying desperately to get rid of that Viking count. Purification Novas do clear out most of Optimus' attacking army. And a Tempest taking out the final Marauder. So, okay. So the good news for Genix is he didn't actually lose a base. He lost a lot of probes, though. 34 probes. Optimus has lost 35. We've caught up. And it's 39 to 52 Harvesters. This has been a slugfest, you guys. I know I say that sometimes, but this time it is absolutely 100% definitely the truth. These players have hit each other so hard throughout this game. Nobody's managed to get the upper hand. Both players have won battles. Both players have killed a ton of their opponent's workers. It's 52 to 39 Harvesters in favor of Optimus right now. Small attempted attack trying to sneak on down to this fourth base and kill it possibly this time. Just four Marauders and a Marine. And yeah, they're going right after these probes. Guaranteed damage, as Day9 used to call it. Guaranteed damage. The Blink Stalkers get right on top of the Marauders. The Purification Nova not being used. The Disruptor's kind of A-moving on top of the Marauders. That's not what you want. It worked out in the end, though. I suppose it did. And did he pick off those uh, Medivacs, too? I think he did. That was nice. Picking off those Medivacs exactly what you need to do. Four of them 
have been killed no so far. A fifth base on the way for Optimus, directly opposite of, of his opponent's fifth base. And actually under a lot of heavy fire right here, coming from the left side to try and save it. Nova comes in and bam, does a pretty good hit. Another Nova! Good hit there as well. Purification Nova killing his own adepts. Oh no, Genix. Oh no, Genix. Picking Liberators out of the sky. Vikings really bad in this situation. You have too many Vikings, Optimus. Too many Vikings, but using the Marauder slow on Disruptors is always very, very good. Is he going to lift the Viking or just use them for ground attacks? It looks like he has the blink forward. Genix recognizes, hey, those are Marauders. Those are Vikings. We can deal with that. Stalker harassing this fourth base by Optimus, staying out of range of that planetary fortress. Nova comes in again and... Oh, no. Taken out before the Nova explodes. Taken out before the Nova explodes. Stalker's Adept versus Marine Marauder Viking. <laughs> it is just scrappy right now, you guys. It is so dang scrappy. Defender mode circles are on the ground. Once again, Nova comes up trying to get a hit. Pretty good split. Catching a Marine and a Marauder. Possibly the Disruptor pays for its crimes with its life. More Adepts trying to come in and deal with this thing. But no, and that's it. A GG. Well played from Genix. Genix is defeated and Optimus is victorious. Woo. Man, both players, again, playing their guts out, playing their hearts out. Just didn't. Genix couldn't quite take care of his disruptors. Uh, going for that mass tempest, not a great play necessarily either, just because, again, of the Vikings were a problem, plus their DPS kind of sucks. And, yeah, I mean, he had the bases, but he couldn't take out the fifth base as Optimus. He recognized the upgrades were better for Optimus. Genix did have the plus two attack, but no armor whatsoever, which hurt him quite a bit. And just the Liberator play, the Liberators kept coming and kept coming. There were three in the end. He killed 16 of them, but G did Genix, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, and unfortunately, Genix falls in this match. Well done by Optimus. I just felt like he was down in worker count for so long. It would hurt him in the long run, but he got his fourth base up, kept it. Got his fifth base up, kept it. Third base under fire for a long time, but never actually lost it, and that was massive. That was huge for him. Great play. Great representative Terran strength here by Optimus. And that's it from me. So that's going to be it from Falcon Paladin. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit the subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter and Facebook, both at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Patrons! Nicholas Cheek, Sean Govin, Nick Riley, Josh Cornelius, Jin, Robert Farmer, KN, Matt Meermans, Heck on Marcus, Christopher, Alex Coffey, Ben Raboyne, 19 Day, Kith Garlow, Alexander Canaris, Complex, Ian Westbrook, Michael McIntosh, Sam Estegoy, Bo Brissett, Kale Anderson, Trevor Smith, Matt Hayden, GMP, Sik Kupata, Pedro Batsaras, Michael Willen, Plaid, Henry Cooper, Clayton Knight, Jan Kodera, Kevin Chang, Rajiv Bhatt, link at the top right. Thank you. Bye.